Hello fam, are we ready to go on a new and exciting adventure? To discover an uncharted islands, dangerous mysteries and bountiful booties. To obtain the One Piece treasure. Today we will explore the new sailing minigame, called Bon Voyage. An idea inspired by the anime, One Piece. Sailing is a great way to load up on massive number of loots, the stronger the ship is, the longer the trip is and more loot to plunder. Losing the ship through total destruction could result in a 50% drop in total loot gained. This minigame utilizes skills like sailing when operating ropes to control the sails and masts or traveling distances in the seas, thieving when stealing treasure chests and loots from pirates and mobs, construction when creating or upgrading ships, crafting when repairing broken structures on the ship or hulls in the ship, combat when fighting mobs and NPCs. Ships are built traditionally with wood and metal bars, using sails to harness the wind power for large ships and using oars to row small ships for traveling. Trading planks, nails, metal bars, redwood planks and primed mined bars with GP to shipwrights to buy pre-made ships that are used to go on adventures or to buy custom-made ships. Ship construction can alternatively be made using the existing minigame, Giant's Foundry to create four ship parts of each section, the front, middle, quarter and back of the ship. A total of 16 ship parts to craft the complete ship at either Port Sarim or Fremenic. Imperfect ship parts made when mistakes happen, has a chance to craft and flawed and weaker ship and thus unable to be used for sailing and has to be dismantled into original parts which will destroy the flawed ship parts. The higher the sailing level, the higher the chance to craft a complete ship with flawed ship parts. Higher sailing levels increase the chance to create a perfect ship part instead of a normal ship part during crafting. A perfect ship part has bonus attributes such as increasing rare loot drops by 10%, decreasing damage or HP of boss mobs, increasing HP of finished ships, saving rare resources by 50% when repairing a ship, increasing cannon damage or fire rate, increasing chance of crafting a unique and stronger type of ship, increasing ship's movement speed, lowering chance of status effects players will receive and more. When four perfect parts are used together, they create a unique section of the ship, thus guaranteeing the finished ship to become a unique ship with special bonuses when the unique section is used during crafting. Minigame acts like pest control where you can choose between beginner, intermediate, veteran or master free for all difficulties for level 30, 45, 60 and 75 adventures respectively. Normal difficulties accept 1 to 10 players in each run and they have to join the same chat channel to team up like in raids or in barbarian assault. Free for all adventure allows up to 25 players but the loot is more spread out and it's harder to get MVP and unique drops. Free for all difficulty is determined by the appointed captain and range from beginner to master at level 75 sailing. Frequent use of swamp tar and paint can reduce ship rust and corrosion. Magic that could be used include Telegrab, Teleblock, Island Teleport, Dark Demon Bane and Sardamon Strike. Fruits such as oranges, bananas can be stored in cold storages for consumption and vitamin C to prevent scurvy. Food includes hardtack made from wheat, salt and water, cooked fishes. Drinks include pirate rum made from trouble brewing ingredients, alcohol brews and vial of water. There are roles for this minigame. In the One Piece anime, roles for the Straw Hat crew include Usopp as the sniper, engineer, chemist, tactician. Luffy as the captain, founder, shapeshifter, Sanji as the cook, mixed martial artist, facial sculptor, swordsman, Brooke as the musician, fencer, ice maker, Frankie as the shipwright, craftsman, engineer, carpenter, cyborg, tank, marksman. Zoro as the chief mate, strongman, swordsman, lost wanderer, Nomi as the navigator, cartographer, Robin as the archaeologist, spy, escape artist, Jinbi as the motivational speaker, sashimi a helmsman, swimmer, chopper as the pet, helmsman, tactician, surgeon, medic, pharmacist and shapeshifter. Ranks for contribution include captain, master, bosun, gunner, quartermaster, carpenter, mate, doctor. The crew use several weapons like the cutlass, flintlock pistol, bow, arrow, axe, torches, brine saber, ceratomine sword, opal bolt e, granados, dynamites, using tally grab to throw them at mobs. The cannon requires cannonballs, gunpowder, tinderbox and ropes to attack. The crew can equip diving apparatus and fishbowl helmet, flippers, mine shield, binoculars, telescopes, insulated boots. 
There are a variety of mobs to choose from such as Kraken, Pirates, Swordfish, Temporus, Moga, Brine Rat, Rock Slug, Mermaids, Metal and Chromatic Dragons, Elvag, Galvec, Zolra, Wintertut, Chaos Elemental, King Size Crab, Lobstrosity, Demonic Gorilla, Shikahan, Water Fiend, Leviathan, Warp Tortoise. New mobs include Megaladen, Orcus, Polar Bear, Storm Boss, Marine Parasites, Isopods, Sea Slugs, Midgard Serpent that looks like Jormung and a giant sea snake, Electric Eel, Cthulhu, Sharks. How to play minigame, it is a two-teams competition-based game like Trouble Brewing. One dot by Build Your Ship Yacht. Lifeboat option. Point two dot hire crew members with sale points or GP or gifts, or invite players and friends to join. Point three dot higher level ships require higher level of construction, sailing to repair, maintain and upgrade. Point four dot resupply food, water, potions, runes, arrows. Point five dot gears can become broken, rusty, blunt and require smithing to sharpen weapons and to repair armors. Point six dot discover uncharted islands, continents, harvest resources on islands and shipwrecks, save players, NPCs who are imprisoned hostages. Point seven dot fight mobs and conquer the islands and ships to plunder the resources and booties. Point 8. Dot on the way back, encounters Kraken boss fight. Fight bosses above, below water. Kraken boss, tentacles emerge out of water, wrap around ship, try to tear off mast, sails, sometimes slams down to ship's hull, swing back and forth to whip nearby players. Slowly lowers HP of ship 5% per 15s, 100% in 5 minutes. 4 minutes to weaken Kraken by 50% HP and stop the destruction of the ship. At 50% HP, Kraken now surfaces and grabs Master Swing at players, smash downwards to ship creating holes in the ship randomly. Another tentacle tries to grab players to deal crush damage, sometimes toss them into water, pulled underwater or towards Kraken's mouth. Players holding shields who are grappled and crunched by Kraken take 50% less damage. Ship can be repaired and reinforced with supplies up to 50% max heal to ship's hull. I.e., from 25% HP to 75% HP after repair and is capped at this new max HP Kraken now deals double damage to ship and lowers new max HP by 5% if tentacle slams down on ship. Players can fire cannonballs, launch harpoons from ballistas, telethrow explosive barrels, poison dynamites at Kraken's head. Kraken is weak to 2H melee weapons like halberd, javelin, ballista, lightning and earth waves or surges, ice and blood barrages. When the Kraken dies, players can dive underwater to open the chests from previous shipwreck and obtain loot dropped from Kraken. Rescue boats arrive after the fight and players can load up the savaged supplies and loot onto the boats and end the minigame. Rewards, Merfolk Trident, One Hand Melee Weep, Upgrade, Thor's Trident, One Hand, Strong Against Water, Air Type Foes. New Spells, Lightning Bolt, AoE, Air, Water, Fire Runes, a spell that shocks the 1x1 target and 2 nearby mobs in a 7 square diameter from target square for 30 max hit damage for target, and subsequent mobs get 5 less damage than the previous ones. 2x2 two two mobs take 45 damage while 3x3 three three mobs take 60 damage. The larger the target is, the less damage the back end mobs take. 30 to 25, 20. 45 to 20 minus 10. 60 to 10, 5. If there is only one mob around user, the target takes the full brunt of the lightning bolt, 75 damage. If the user is within target's 3.5 square radius, one by one target takes 40, 50 or 60 damage, while user takes 35, 25 or 15 damage from spell ricochet depending on distance. Tentagrab, a water spell that attacks mobs in front of user in a 2 by 3 area causing 10 max hit damage and then toss the grabbed mob away in a straight line, knocking back nearby mobs for additional 15 damage if successful. Each successful hit will cause mobs to move backwards one square away from spell, a total of two squares per spell. Ice Beam Attentislam, an ice spell that slams down on mobs in a straight line of five squares to stun mobs for 1.2 seconds at a 10% chance and slow mobs attack speed by one tick for five seconds. Ice that hit the ground instead of mobs will create ice obstacles with 50 horsepower that can be broken by mobs. This can hinder the mobs if they are not smart enough to move around the ice blocks to move towards user. Each new Tentaslam will create new ice blocks and break the old ice blocks on the ground. 
new equipped raincoat, cape slut, umbrella hat, helmet slut, great buffs against stormy battles in the seas. Spiked clam shield increases damage against kraken type mobs that grab enemies. Alright that's all folks. Do you enjoy this content? What else can we do in sailing? Please like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.